Let's go ahead and talk more about NFTs because I've kind of pumped them up. Let's knock them back down. EA CEO U-turns on NFTs. It's not something we're driving on. Let's get into it. This is posted on February 2nd. Electronic Arts EA CEO Andrew Wilson made headlines three months ago when he told investors that blockchain and NFTs could be the gaming industry's future. Here's exactly what he said at the time. Quote, I do not think it will be important. Uh, wait, I do think it will be an important part of the future of our industry, but it's still early to figure out how that's going to work. I feel good about our position with respect to that. Collectability in games like FIFA and Madden and NHL is really built on driving value through the traditional sports season. I think your question is, is there an opportunity as we think about NFTs and other digital ecosystems to expand that value over time? I think the short answer is yes. And so that was what he said previously. But during yesterday's Q3 2022 earnings call, though, this EA CEO Q3 must be Q1. Oh, OK. Oh, never mind. Got it. Uh, the EA CEO seemed to U-turn away from NFT, saying it's not something the company is driving on. Around the, NF around the NFT and where VCs are investing, again, we see this also happened in our... Uh, happen Blah. Again, we see this also happened in our industry. I think this was a typo in our industry. We start with 3D. We start with AR, VR. We're now seeing it with NFTs. There's always something in and around our industry that is driving a lot of external investment. The way I look at this is collectability is really built on four key metrics. It's around high quality content, it's around scarcity, and it's around proof of authenticity, and it's around a group of people that find value in that content. And we've seen that happen in real world, and we see that seen that happen in a virtual world. We've currently seen that happen in and around our games for some number of years. And I believe that collectability will continue to be an important part of our industry and the games and experiences that we offer our players. Whether that's part of the NFT and the blockchain, well, that remains to be seen. And I think the, the way we think about it is we want to deliver the best possible player experience we can. And so we are going to, we will evaluate that, uh, that over time. But right now it's not something that we're driving on. Basically he is acknowledging still that the, the, where the money is, is kind of within this collectability idea. You could empower that collectability with NFTs. Of course, because we just talked about the tax implications of NFTs, it would be very awkward, especially right now, uh, or it will be very awkward, especially right now with Axie's Infinity and and God's Unchained and all that to basically have to file taxes on essentially you playing a video game. That's insane. Uh, just crazy right now. So regulation around that really has to be solved before these large video game companies could implement NFTs and feel confident surrounding them. Because you don't want your users getting hit with a huge tax bill because they kept trading, you know, some gear in game or whatever over and over and over again. And then it's all of a sudden, here's your 1099 for playing Battlefield, which also the new Battlefield really, really so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> this is very interesting, these kind of backpedaling. I think that part of it is, is that if you're talking to traditional uh, gamers and people that grew up gaming, it's never been very positive. It's never been accepted in a positive light to have a ton of microtransactions, etc. Some of the worst offenders have been, of course, EA, along with Ubisoft still to this day is one of the worst offenders. I, I can't even play their games because it's so annoying how much in-game microtransactions they have. And NFTs don't really solve that problem. They only exacerbate it. So for traditional gaming, I don't see it working very well where I do see it working is in things like trading card games maybe maybe like Magic the Gathering Hearthstone Gods Unchained which already is using utilizing NFTs uh, that sort of thing is kind of where I see it 
functioning pretty well. Um, and then it would be interesting if you did have, you know, some sort of in-game auction house or something that worked or functioned. Um, the problem there is that video game design has always struggled with economies just in general. Uh, and that goes across pretty much every MMO. You can see it fail. Uh, we can look at Diablo 3's real world money auction house as well, which did not go over well uh, because the balance of the loot drop was all off. So... This is kind of a multifaceted problem that has to be executed perfectly for it to actually work. And I think it's going to take some time to figure that out. Plus, like I said, the tax ramifications just seem insane to me. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.